I grew up competitive free skiing and I had just placed second in the junior free skiing world championships up at Snowbird and I was 16 and we were driving down from Snowbird and just saw this, this smog cloud over the valley and that's when it kind of hit was all right if I want to be in the mountains and take care of this planet that I've got to do something. You know, the two fastest growing jobs in the world right now are wind technician and solar installer. My name is Jonathan Huddleston. I am a Solar Tech 2 with S Power. I maintain a utility size solar site. Or as I call it, the, um, I take sun magic and turn it into synthetic lightning. Yeah. I love the fact that I can be out here and I am not in a cubicle for 8 to 12 hours a day. I was always kind of good with electronics. I guess my brother kind of got me into it. He used to take apart VCRs and, and things like that. Sometimes we could put it back together. <laughs> Sometimes we couldn't. And when I got the chance to do it and make money doing it, I said, why not? I would have never thought graduating college in 2008, I'll be doing this in 2020. And then I came out here and I'm like, oh, oh. So, I saw it as opportunity. I'm Sky Mooney, and I'm a Renewable Resource Analyst on the engineering team here at S-Power. Growing up, I was maybe a little bit hesitant to go into engineering because I didn't see a lot of other women. Every time I got discouraged, there were so many strong women role models. They would pick me up and make it known that I am just as, if not more capable than boys that I'm working with. I did it and you can do it. It's fun. I hated math. Now I do it every day and I love it. You start to do it and realize just how much you can bring to it, like a whole new perspective and how capable you are and how possible it is to make a really big impact in the industry. So I think a lot of people are, are really here because they believe in it. And it's really cool to work in a place where you're excited, you know, you wake up every day and feel truly good about what you're doing. Most of my best friends work here at S-Power. We do a lot together. We ski together on the weekends, hiking. People are always inviting over for dinner. Feels like a family. I think there are certain personality types that are drawn to doing things that they perceive make the world a better place, if you will. When I was younger, and probably still it centered more around how do I save animals. But about the time that I was in college, I started to get really politically active, going to protests. Maybe it's just that you get going on that at a formative time in your life, and you just never can quite like let that go. <laughs> so I would describe my job at S Power as trying to understand state and federal policies that impact the development of renewable energy. So we work with states, we go in and set up meetings and start to identify people who are stakeholders, it's usually the governor and key legislators. It's really helpful to have that base of relationship and to know that those people have a base understanding of what renewable development is. It's really, I think, about communication and about being able to make a connection with people on some level. I'm Michael Polanco. I'm an apprentice level three for the IBEW Local 11. Solar is almost like its own entity. It's like a factory line. You know, you got one crew coming in doing this aspect of it and you got another crew coming in putting the panels. You have another crew coming in doing the wiring. You're there for months on end. It goes from this big empty field and there's just panels everywhere. It's actually cool because, you know, I'm pretty much shaping the landscape. I'm getting paid pretty good and I'm working by my house. I get home every day. I get to enjoy myself. It's, it's a good work-life balance. Stuff that I work on is going to impact families. It's going to make the environment more friendly. And I wake up every day, I drive past it. I'm like, wow, I put that up. And that's going to be there for probably forever. So it's, it's nice knowing that something I did is going to be there after I'm gone.